Hi guys, so today I'm going to be unboxing an electric bike, electric cycle basically. So this is Michael electric cycle. I wanted to buy an electric bike because to travel to office you know uh, but really far so my plan is to travel to ride on my bike until the railway station and take a train and then from that station ride again and go to the office and for that purpose i bought this as a folding bike so yes that's another interesting fact it's electric as well as folding so how much does it weigh? On papers, it weighs about 17 kilograms, which is quite heavy for a bicycle, but because of the batteries and other equipments, it makes sense. And it's quite light to the other same range electric bikes. So I think it's one of the lightest in this range. So there is a similar electric bike and decathlon, but I chose this over that. And I'll tell you why. So some paddings, another padding, bubble wrap. Ah, oh, okay. In seat. I'm already in love with it. What else to say? So, take this off, take these paddings off, other paddings, and I like how they have packed it. It's really nice, really sturdy. Close up right, and this is the folding handle which goes here and then okay i'll show you the, the folding mechanism later on this is the hand nice so there are yes yeah, some tools uh looks like these are additional things because this bike looks totally complete to me. um yeah, I mean, I don't know where to let go, but it's just additional. Join the community. Okay. Oh, yeah. So this is a charging brick with an adapter cable and these are tools very really nice of them to give us like complete set of tools so that if you want to repair by yourself you can do that yes so you have this wrench angle things i don't know what we call these things but screwdriver i guess another wrench angle angle thing there are the angles depending on the size you want so, uh, according to the website, it can go up to 30 kilometers on one charge. So basically, you, it, this charging is assisted. Oh, sorry, this e-bike is assisted. Like you paddle and then it will give you support. You know, you can go uphill to 15 degrees, I guess, and then it can, it's going. It's going to feel like you are going riding on a flat surface. And if you are riding on a flat surface, you definitely can go very fast without sweating much, which is what you want when you're going to office. Right? Oh yes, so now why I have chosen this over Decathlon. So Decathlon bike comes with regular um, brakes, which applies here. Those are called something, I don't know. And this is a disc brake. 
Why I've chosen this brake over the regular brakes is because in rainy seasons and it rains a lot in London, those regular brakes aren't as effective as the disc brake, and that's why I chose this over Decathlon. But it's even lighter than Decathlon bike, and Decathlon did not have many choices for color. Okay, so now this is the battery in the saddle. Here. Oh, so there is no grease here. Okay, uh, this is the battery. They have smartly placed the battery in the saddle, you know. And this itself weighs about I don't know three kilograms. I think it's three. Um, there is a I'm not able to show you, but I think that's the charging point, should be the charging point smartly placed and also has a lid to protect for to give it some waterproofing okay so there is one dime downside over the decathlon bike is there is no electric backlight it's just a reflector but we do have a front light here but electric backlights are important when you're riding on the road at the night time so i'll get that from decathlon and then it just gets connected Okay, so it feels like connected. Um, how do I turn it on now? This and it also has seven gears. So if you don't want to have electric assist, you can use seven gears, which is I think a decent. And the gears are from Shimano, which is a really known brand. And yeah, how much? uh this bike weighs let's say pretty heavy i must say the back portion is definitely heavy um i need to get wheel being scale to have an exact measure just wait a moment I weigh about X, which is fine. I don't have to tell you my weight. Now, let's, without moving the weight scale, let's go along the bike. Hmm. I would say it's false advertisement. It's not 17, it's 20 kilograms actually. Or maybe I think they were advertising without the saddle so it is heavy it's definitely heavier than uh, the dec decathlon bike so my idea was a folding bike to keep it lighter and then initially i was looking for non-electric bikes which were about 11 to 12 which would have made more sense for the daily commute but why i have chosen electric in the case in the scenario when i don't want to take a train i just want to ride all the way to the office which is about 10 miles 16 17 kilometers from here so i think i can do that and if i have a support from electric bike it's why not same for bucks on train how do we fold this right um okay, that's i need to learn that i think i have never seen that video but why not figure it out you know so saddles are uh, so the paddles are already folded so i don't have to worry about it now this is to make the bike in half and then this is to fold the handle and then it goes here and then there is a magnet so which kind of attaches it and then it becomes a folding bike it's pretty heavy I'm, just, I'm sure it's not easy for everyone to carry around so it won't be an easy thing to walk around in the station yeah 
Yeah, it is going to be tiring. The magnet is like it's keeping it in place very well. And how long does it take to for me to open it? Um, this is fine. It goes here, and then okay, this is pretty tight, and it goes here. And then the saddles, sorry, saddles. And, hmm. My back now. Did you lose? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Driving Motors, and this is the Driving Motor.